flowers in your vegetable garden? In today's video, I'm going to give five tips when selecting flower varieties for your vegetable garden. garden friends it's Chris from gardening at the Simon Getty North welcome or welcome back to my channel I'm just a hobby gardener I'd like to share my garden ideas and also get inspiration from other gardeners out there in the YouTube gardening community this is a shed wars 2023 gardening video this is an initiative to teach the world on how to grow your own food and there's several I can't remember how many channels out there that are participating in this Global Gardening Initiative. I think it's over 60, maybe 70. I tried to find out, but um, I didn't get a response. So um, in this video, I wanna talk about having flowers in your vegetable garden. So what is the most important reason to have flowers in your vegetable garden or around your vegetable garden? It's to attract the pollinators. You want to attract the native bees and other pollinators that can help your garden. If you don't have pollinators visiting your vegetable garden, you may have a disappointing crop. Planting bee-friendly flowers near or in the vegetable garden supports struggling pollinator populations and biodiversity. Plant flowers to specifically attract butterflies, hummingbirds, and other desired species. I have five tips to keep in mind when selecting your flower varieties for your vegetable garden. Tip number one, bloom time. Select flowers that bloom at the same time as the vegetable crops. If the vegetable flowers bloom before your flowers, then the bees may not find your garden. Plant flowers with a range of bloom times. So have flowers that bloom at the very beginning all the way through until your frost. That will keep the pollinators coming to your vegetable garden on a regular basis. Tip number two is flower shape. Flowers that attract hummingbirds are not the same flowers that would attract the bees or beneficial wasps. You want to have flower shapes that make it easy for the bees to pollinate with. Flower shapes make it easier or harder for different species to access nectar and pollen. The cone-shaped bell and trumpet flowers definitely attract the hummingbirds. And I've also seen those big bumblebees in there as well. For the bees and other beneficial pollinators, choose flowers with a composite shape, like cosmos, cone flowers, dahlias, daisies, sunflowers, and zinnias, just to name a few. Tip number three, spacing. Sprinkle flowers throughout the vegetable garden and outside the vegetable garden. I have flowers throughout my vegetable garden and I also have flowers outside of the vegetable garden and throughout the property. For example, flowers can be planted strategically to put barriers between like um, sweet peppers and hot peppers so you know which ones are which. You can also use flowers to um, have a border around your garden. There's a wide variety of flowers to choose from to have in your vegetable garden. I like to plant marigolds and nasturtiums along with other um, flowers like dahlias, sunflowers, daisies, I have chocolate daisies, and uh, just a, a different variety. I got snapdragons. I have different kinds of flowers all around the vegetable garden. I also have dedicated raised beds just for flowers in my vegetable garden. Tip number four is the height of your flowers. You need to consider the height of the flowers to grow. You don't want flowers overtowering your vegetables. 
You don't want your flowers competing for sunlight with the vegetables. You want to choose mostly low growing flowers. Some crops like lettuce types might benefit from the taller flowers to give it a little shade during the hot sun of the afternoon. Tip number five is to keep it simple. Recommend to start with annual flowers, easy to grow, produce lots of blooms, and you don't have to worry about them coming up in the same spot every year like you would a perennial. You can change it up year after year and where you want the annuals to grow and some of them may reseed themselves. Native perennials are the best way to attract the native bees to your garden. Some examples of flowers in the vegetable garden are nasturtium, which I already mentioned, sweet peas, salvia, borage, zinnias, dahlias, marigolds, sunflowers, petunias, bee balm, cosmos, and cornflowers, just to name a few. Do you have flowers in your vegetable garden? Leave me a comment below and let me know what flowers you have growing in your vegetable garden. They also, you know, besides having vegetables in your garden, having flowers in your garden is just another fun thing to enjoy um, in your garden. You have cutting flowers, you have just flowers just to look at, and it's just awesome to have a combination of flowers and vegetables in a garden. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please smash that like button. And if you haven't become a Simon Getty subscriber, please become a Simon Getty subscriber today. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a wonderful Labor Day weekend and also stay safe. Live, love, laugh, and garden. Hope to see you at the next video. God bless.